Hello. Hello, everybody. What are you doing, Fred? Looking at the children. He's nice, isn't he? Right, OK. Here's me and Fred come to do some more phonics. Now, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to play Fastest Finger. OK. Right, so let's exercise those fingers. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the phoneme mat up up close so you can see it. And when I say a phoneme, I want you to run safely, if you can, up close and point to the phoneme. <laughs> OK. Are we ready to play Fastest Finger? Oh, yeah. I was born ready. Fred was born ready. OK, so let's put this up close. And I want you to find... <laughs> Did you find it? Whoops. There it is. OK, ready for the next one. Can you find g, g, g? Here it is. Can you find n, n, n? Where is it? Oh, there it is. Can you find o, o, o? There it is. All right, I'm going to flip it because we've learned some on this side too. Okay, can you find j, j, j? There it is. Now then, can you spot, hmm, which one shall I, oh, I know which I'm going to choose. Shh, shh, shh. Oh, there it is, look. Can you find ch, ch, ch? Oh, there it is, right over there. Last one, I think, now. Can you find x, x, x? And there it is. Well done. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. Fred did. He was playing on his own. He had his own mat to do his fastest finger. Were you fast, Fred? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, OK. Now, the last time we were together, we learned a new phoneme, didn't we? And it was this phoneme here. Two letters. And two letters. And one sound is a... Digraph. Thanks, Fred. It's a digraph. OK. And we had the clowns, if you remember. And we had to put our tongue out. A little bit. And put our tongue out. A lot. OK. So there he is. Little tongue, big tongue. And it did... It made two sounds, this phoneme, didn't it? Z, 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 z. Yes, OK, so that's what we were working on on our last uh, phonics session. OK, so I think, let me just check. Yes, we're going to do some reading. I'm going to read some words. Oh, eh? Yes, Fred. Right, so... Let's just bring this a little bit closer. OK, so I have some words with our new phoneme in them. And we're going to use our phoneme buttons to help us read those words. OK, so I'm going to look at this one first. Right, remember it makes a z, z, z. Right. How do we know which one? Oh, I suppose we could try them. If it sounds right, you've heard the word before, you've got a good chance that's the right one. OK? OK. OK, so we've got... Mm. 
Oh. Oh, which one should we try, Fred? Little tongue. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oz. Moz. Mmm. Can we try the other one, Fred? Okay. Mmm. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Moss. Moss. Fred likes that one. Moss. Yeah. You tend to see them at night and they're attracted by lights, aren't they? Moths. Right. Okay. Should we try another one, Fred? Yeah. Let's do our phoneme buttons. I'm going to do a little tongue. Zzz. Zzz. At. Zzz. That. Well done. That. Now then, let's do the next one. P. A. P. A. P. A. Path. Path. Ah. Fred likes that one too. Last one then. Right, s e n s n s n s n. Fred doesn't like that. I'm going to try the little one. Z e n z n z n. Oh, Fred likes that. Then, right, right then. So, I'm going to put these words in a sentence. Moth. The moth is sad. Oh, no. I know. Let's have a look at the next word. This word here. Path. I ran on the path. Well done, Mrs Jones. Because if you run on the road... Mm -mm -mm. That's not good. I ran on the path. OK. This word here. That. That van is fast. <coughs> that Fred is fast. <laughs> That's terrible. Uh, then. Okay. The sun was shining. Then it started to rain. <laughs> yes, I know, Fred. Right, we're going to take our words off our board. Oh, that's a big stretch, Fred. Ah, oh. golly goshkins. <laughs> right, jump down, Fred. <laughs> that's a big jump. Last time he did that, all went horribly wrong. Right, I have some other sentences. I'm going to get up here and put them up on my board. One. Two, three, and I've also got some words so we can find the best fit. Right then, come on, Fred. Thanks, Fred. Right. Let's work these sentences out and then we'll decide on the best fit. Okay. So. Ooh, key word. I can. And we know this word because when we've been writing our sentences with Mrs. Lamb, we've used this word, haven't we? See. Oh. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Go on then, Fred. I can see. I can see. Right. We'll work this one out. Okay. So, ooh. It's got our phoneme. Z, a, t, z, a, t, z, a, that. Ah. Z, ah, n, z, ah, n, z, 
van. Ah, that van. Oh, hold on, Fred. Keyword is. Let's read that through. Read it with me, please. That van is. Right, the last one to work out. And then you're going to do some work as well. Right, so our new phoneme again. Right. Th is th this 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 Mrs. Jones? <laughs> Can I do it? You're silly. Sorry. Th is this silly Mrs. Jones? You are right. Keyword. Keyword. This is a right then. This is what I want you to do at home because I want you to find the best fit. I'm going to let you sound out those letters, segment and blend. I will do the sound buttons for you. And then I want you to decide which word is the best fit with those sentences. All right? So... I'll make sure you can see it all. Then I'm going to get Fred to press pause. And when we come back, me and Fred will decide where we're going to put those words. Okay? Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! Pause. Okay, so now me and Fred have got to decide which words are the best fit. I don't know what to say. Well, we're going to have to work it out, Fred. Right, let's do this one first then. B, I, G, B, I, G, B, I, G, big. Okay, so I've worked that one out. Let's work this one out. Sh, E, O, Sh, E, O, Sh, L, Shell. So I've worked out the second word. Then I've got to work out the last word. Z, E, M, Z. Them, them. So I've got big shell and them. Okay. So I've got to decide. So let's hold up. I can see big. Fred says that doesn't make sense. I can see shell. Uh, not quite. It doesn't quite make sense. Just that's not how we talk, is it? I can see shell. I can see shell. I can see but mm -mm. no, 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 no. I can see them. Ah, Fred likes that one. I can see them. I'll put that up there then. Right then. That van is shell. That van is shell. <laughs> no. No, Fred says not. Uh, that van is big. Oh, Fred likes that one. That van is big. I like that one too. So the last one must be, this is a shell. That works better. This is a shell. So there we go. We've worked out the best fit for those sentences. Okay, well done, if that's what you got to. Okay, Fred, climb down. Right, we're going to take these sentences off. One. Two. Three. Now then, we're going to play another game. We're going to play the yes and no game. Okay, up you come, Fred. <laughs> now then, I've noticed something different about my sentence because it doesn't end in a full stop. Mm -mm. What? Oh. What does it end in this time, Fred? A question. And when we've got a question, that means we can answer it, we can think of our answer, can't we, Fred? Yeah. Right. Shall, I, shall we do the first one together and the next two sentences you at home can do by yourself? Is that all right, Fred? 
I guess so. Ag power. Sometimes he can be a little bit lazy, Fred. I'm not. Not pulling faces. Right, so, Fred, first thing we need to do is can we spot any key words? Yeah. Okay, what have we got? Ah. Okay, we've spotted ah. Anything else, Fred? Can. Can. We've spotted can. Uh, anything else, Fred? B. We spotted B. Right, we've got a couple of words we need to work out. And what do we need to do, Fred? Phoneme buttons. Phoneme buttons. Okay, then we put one under there, one under there, and we've got a digraph there as well. That's two letters, one sound. Okay, then, Fred? <sighs> eh. Fish, fish. Okay, I'm going to try and read that. Can a fish be? And have a last word. See if we can work it out. Digraph. Right then. So we've got. Thin. Okay. Let's read the sentence. Can a fish be thin? Oh, right, we've got to, to decide. Is it a yes or a no? What do we think, Fred? Uh, can a fish be thin? Yes, I think they can. Some fish, like a flat fish, is really thin. <laughs> there you go. Fred's answered the question. And he answered with a yes. Okay, now it's your turn. We need another sentence. We do. Okay. So, let's get a sentence, shall we? Well, I think I said two sentences, but actually, lucky you, there's just one sentence, but it's a long one. Let's make sure we can see it all. Yes. Right. Boo. Fred's back. Right. So, at home then. Now, remember, you can do one or two things. You can write that sentence out, if that helps you, so that you can circle all those keywords that you know. Uh, then you can mark the sound buttons where they're going to be, okay, with your dots and dashes, okay, for single phonemes and digraphs. Uh, then you need to read the sentence, okay, because it's got a question mark, and when you come back, we'll, you'll have to decide whether it's a yes or a no. Okay? Right. Are you ready to press pause? Are you ready to get busy? All right. Off you go, Fred. Pause. Okay. So, hopefully, you have worked out that sentence. But it's mine and Fred's turn. And you can see if you've got it right. Right then, Fred. Key words. Can you spot any? Ah. Mm-hmm. Good boy. Anything else? Cat. Cat. Any other key words, Fred? Can. Can. Oh, we can actually read some of that sentence already, Fred. Yeah. Can I read it? Of course you can read it. Can a cat. Oh, can a cat. Let's find out. Let's put our phoneme buttons underneath Fred. Let's sound that out. Oh, i, k. Oh, i, k. Oh, i, k. Oh, Fred, what is it? Lick. Lick. I'm going to reread that bit now. Can a cat lick? Can a cat lick? Not there yet. We need to work out this next word. Z a t. Z a t. That. Ah, let's reread. 
Can a cat lick that? Can a cat lick that? Not finished yet. We're not finished yet, Fred. Okay. All right then, we're nearly there. Well, go on then, Fred. K up. K up. K up. K up. Let's read that sentence. Can a cat lick that cup? Can a cat lick that cup? Right. We all need to decide, is it a yes or a no? <sighs> what do you think, Fred? Can a cat lick that cup? Well, they got tongues. They have got tongues. <sniffs> Just like that. They've got rough tongues. We've got a cat, Mrs Jones. We have got a cat. What's he called, Fred? Gimli. Gimli. And he licks things, doesn't he? Yeah. Does he lick a cup, though, Fred? Uh, well, he could, if he wanted to. But have we ever seen him lick a cup, though, Fred? Uh, mm -mm. Right, so, can a lick... Can, can a lick... <laughs> <laughs> Can a cat lick a cup? Fred seems to think, no, they don't lick cups. But if you chose yes, they could if they wanted to. But should they? Shouldn't really be licking cups. If your cat at home licks cups, say no, no licking cups. Yucky. Yeah, yucky. Yeah, because cats lick themselves. And then if they lick our cup, ew, germs, germs, germs. Germs, germs, germs. Okay, so I hope you had some fun with us for phonics today. And we're going to have to say goodbye now, Fred. Okay, bye.